Hi everyone, this is Kim. Thanks for clicking. You know, every few weeks, there's a headline. Breakthrough Parkinson's treatment discovered. And for a moment, it feels like hope is right around the corner. But then months, even years go by, and nothing changes at the doctor's office. You know, I know that frustration personally. I went through it with my mom. You get excited, you start to believe, and then you wonder, why does it take so long? Here's the thing. Parkinson's research is moving faster than ever. Stem cells, gene therapy, new drugs. But turning a discovery into a real treatment isn't simple. In this video, I'm going to show you the roadblocks, why the process takes years, and why I believe the wait should be worth it. Right now, Parkinson's research is more exciting than ever. New drug infusions are helping people reduce off time. Focused ultrasound has been approved for tremor dominant Parkinson's. And for the very first time, therapies that aim to slow disease progression or even stop it like antibodies and stem cell transplants are in late stage trials. It's the kind of progress that simply wasn't happening even a decade ago. Why does it take so long for treatment to go from headline to hospital? Number one, Parkinson's is complex. It doesn't affect everyone the same way. Symptoms include movement, sleep, mood, thinking, so many things. What helps one group may not work for another. Number two, safety comes first. Especially with things like brain surgery or cell therapy, the first priority is proving that a treatment won't cause harm. That takes careful, small trials before moving to bigger studies. Number three, measuring progress is slow. Parkinson's moves gradually. To prove something slows the disease, researchers may need to follow patients for years. I remember with my mom, even small changes could take months to really notice. And that's the same challenge researchers face. Number four, regulatory approval. Agencies like the FDA require more than one strong trial before granting approval. It's frustrating when it feels like things are being held back, but that's not really what's going on. The goal is to protect patients. Number five is cost and production. Even once a treatment works, it has to be manufactured consistently and at scale. That's a challenge with complex therapies like stem cells or gene therapy. Despite the slow process, there are real reasons for hope. Multiple new therapies have already been approved in the past year, showing the pipeline is moving forward. Clinical trials today are smarter, targeting genetic subtypes, using better imaging, and designing studies to get clearer results. And for the first time, research isn't only focused on symptoms but on actually slowing or stopping Parkinson's progression. That's a big shift in the field, and it's what so many patients and families have been waiting for and hoping for. It's tough though when you or a loved one is struggling, waiting years for a therapy feels impossible. I felt that frustration many times while following the news during my mom's illness, but knowing how far the research has come gives me hope for the rest of you, the people facing Parkinson's today. Every trial, even the ones that don't succeed, teaches researchers what to try next. That's how progress is built, one careful step at a time. And this is why I create these videos, is to hopefully inspire people to keep hoping for cures and treatments that really help. I do them in honor of my mom who I lost last year and I think that knowing that even if I help one person change their mindset a little bit, it will be worth it. So, so yes, the road is long, but every step is meant to make sure new treatments are safe, effective, and truly ready for patients. It takes years of careful testing before any new treatment can change lives. The hopeful part? Well, right now the pipeline is fuller than ever and breakthroughs are coming. You know, if you found this video helpful, make sure you check out part two of this series. 
uh, which will be the next video, which I have not published yet, but <laughs> I'm going to map out the entire journey of a Parkinson's treatment from an original idea and coming out of the scientist's head to all the trials, to the approvals. I'm still researching for that video, but I am so intrigued so far by the steps that these treatments take and how carefully they are tested. I hope to have that video up soon, so make sure you subscribe so you won't miss it. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you found it interesting or learned something new. And don't forget to share it with someone who might like to hear this information. Thank you so much for watching. Let's keep following this journey together.